Please, that day, that one inside my ear. Yes, 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 yes. it's coming up. It's coming up. Um, Alright, so uh, I will go back again. So, in a quick one, though I have talked about this particular um, organism before, but it seems like people always think that it's always on women. No, I want to, I want to still shed more light on them. And that is this uh, leash. I talked about leash last time. I released my last video. No, not the last video, but in some of in one of my videos, yes, I have talked about this leash. So as you can see on the screen, so that's the leash. Um, it's not a new organism per se, but just that uh, most often we will not actually know to some other extent some things can go in our lives. So this leash, you can see, I will show you a video whereby a um, lady um, had this in her ears not even only one two two leeches so and you could imagine how they managed to get inside the ear if you can remember i said last time that these are parasitic worm yeah they are parasitic in nature they are predators predatory so and they feed on blood human blood animal blood so and then how they get inside the body through any canal available any track, any openings. So last time I talked about a, um, a lady who contracted that without any means she got that into her um, vagina. So and um, that into her private part. So but the the the, the pain there was that it was causing her so much bleeding. And sometimes you could even think that uh, it was just uh, a kind of uh, either infection or some other things internally. So, but uh, she was diagnosed, and um, unfortunately, it was these um, leeches that were found inside that place. So, but what am I trying to say? Then I'm trying to say that uh, now these are other incidences that uh, I just came across the video, so I decided again to talk about it. Yes, I have talked about it before, but you know, most often. Yeah, after I have talked about something and then um, that's some things you see that people even forget it so as i just watched the video they may feel like okay and they may think that they, it, what you have just said is like kind of a uh, just only limited to that you just talked about no but i can remember last time i talked about see they can get into the body through any openings they see any openings they see in our body they can get into them once they can enter they will just penetrate and move inside so now this this case is that uh, this one was inside the ear not even only one two ledges got into the ear how probably during swimming either swimming in the either in the river in swimming pool because uh, i have i said this before that they lived dominantly in freshwater habitats so, and this freshwater habitat that simply means um water that are not with um, salt or that are not um so uh, salty so that they can live there yes they live in freshwater habitat because if they should live in salt water or in marine they can easily die off because of the concentration so that's why they are mostly found in freshwater habitats so you see when you are swimming Either in the swimming pool, in river, just know that uh, there are some other microorganisms that are inside that water with you. So let's forget about the fact that uh, um, maybe when you are much swimming in the uh, in a pool or in a river, some other people may be discharging some other things inside that water too. So now let's keep that one aside. Ordinarily, when you have oil, when you just came into that water. There are already um, some other organisms there before you. And these leeches could be some of them, some of those organisms. So now when you now come, probably through the flow of the water into your body, the ear, the nose, the, the, the private part, that's the vagina for women, all those openings, if they could find that way inside you, they will enter. So, and once they have gotten into your body, Definitely, they will begin to suck your blood. Okay, so this is now. So even the ear, even the ear, they can get into the body through the ear. Yes, and if care is not taken, they could temper the eardrum. And if they should temper the eardrum, you know, because you know, parasitic, they have the capacity of 
piercing that's tearing flesh yes that is because it's only when you tear a tissue that food can come out and this will be blood it's coming out so this is now so and once those blood are coming out that's something there that's what they are parasitic in nature they will not talk about all the predatory aspects that is the one that eats other life organisms too so you see i'm particularly talking about this um, parasitic ones so i still want to tell us again though you watch the video please whenever you are um into any river or a swimming pool just be careful just make sure that um, you protect yourself and be conscious don't be carried away by the by the pleasure of the swimming don't be carried away by that yeah be sensitive to know when things get into your body be sensitive about that okay if the girl probably was um, conscious of these leashes i believe she might have gone into the river to swim wearing her hair tie or swimming kits probably net cover the head probably cover the ear too yes they cover the ear so these things couldn't have gotten into her ears but the ears we are all free so and those organisms they felt like they're safe and they moved in through the flow of the water so um, what am i trying to say in the next is that uh, whenever you're into the sea into the river the swim pool enjoy yourself playing with your colleagues make sure that you protect yourself very well yes yeah, safety force safety force so and in that safety um not only women yes not only women though the two instances i gave through the uh, VG, that's the vagina, and through the ear. It was on, on, on women. So it was on women. So um, that does not mean, actually, that uh, a man can't suffer from such attack. Yes, I call it attack because those microorganisms, they attack us. Parasitic organisms, what they do, they attack us, they suck our blood. Okay? So that does not mean that a man. So like the ear, both a man and a woman, all of us have ears. So, if they could get, get into the, the girl's ear, which means they can equally get into the boy's ears. Am I making sense? So, that's what I want to bring to our notice too. So, most of them will just uh, neglect some things, we feel like they're not common. Must still wait until you experience something before you before you begin to um, protect yourself. Obviously, no. So, tell your neighbors, tell your sisters, tell your brothers why you're going to swimming pool. Be conscious. Take cautious. Take take um, um, precautions. Take. Uh, some measures to make sure that you are safe yeah because there are uh, bacteria there are other organisms that are at war with us either microscopic or macroscopic so take care of yourself today cover your ears while entering the swimming pool the river so for men they may feel like they can't wear nets or whatever fine be conscious of your health be conscious of your body even when you're in the swimming pool make sure that you are conscious even water even when water enters your ear try to know because yeah when you're swimming yes it's, it's true that water can go into your ears um without you feeling anything but when a kind of bigger um organism gets into your body you may feel it you may feel it so but the the, the summary of it is that take caution take caution just know that just be aware yeah i just want you to be aware just know that these things exist and they are not far from us they are not far from us they are not far they are in freshwater habitat and we'll talk about this fresh water habitat 
we are talking about your swimming pool. Yes, that swimming pool you enjoy. The river, that river you normally go to swim, the stream, all of them. So, um, let's take caution and protect ourselves always. Thank you so much. Please don't always forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to my Facebook page, so wherever you see it. So, and uh, just try to follow me up on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.